In this video, I'll be talking about a new preview feature available within the Power Platform Admin Center named as Copilot Studio Authors. Now, as you see over here on the screen, I'm in Power Platform Admin Center under Tenant Settings, navigate to Copilot Studio Authors, and here you will see an option to assign a security group to the Copilot Studio Authors at a tenant level. Now, why would one uh, explore the scenario. This is because at a tenant level, administrator can control the proliferation of an agent, co-pilot, power virtual agent or bots within your organization and they can govern this entire creation process using this one single switch. Now here, uh, how, how this thing works is like you need to have a security group within your Azure Active Directory or you can create security group using M365 Admin Center. Assign a set of people who you think will be the author for building the agents or co-pilot. Once you have that group defined, you set those value over here. And then from that point onwards, those particular set of users will only be able to author the co-pilot or an agent within your organization. So this is a nice governing feature for an administration administrator now this is useful when you have a very large organization so maybe uh, 10,000 plus organization and if you want to really control the author who create co-pilot or agent why because as uh, as you know like uh, there are many settings within copilot studio which uh, if you turn it on it might incur a lot of cost in terms of utilizing the large language model utilizing the advanced feature in terms of deep reasoning. And there are other bunch of whole features which you do not want your users to accidentally use uh, just for testing purposes. Now, Copilot Studio Author. So this is an excerpt from Microsoft Learn site. So what it says is like Copilot Studio is accessible by one of the following accounts. So if you have a Copilot Studio user license, uh, you can access it free of charge. Uh, if you have a Copilot Studio, if you are a Copilot Studio author in the Power Platform Admin Center, yes, you can access uh, because, but you need to be part of the security group that might be created well in advance in Azure Portal or the Enter ID and the users assigned to the security group. In Power Platform Admin Center, you can also assign the security group to the Copilot Studio author setting. Now, Microsoft 365 Copilot license users can also uh, be an author for the Copilot Studio. Now, there are a couple of security roles within the system. Like this is for the granular level security. If you want to individually identify if that person is a bot author or a bot contributor or that person just needs to view the transcript then you can assign these different security roles for that specific set of users but the main setting is uh, you need to uh, basically first enable the users licenses so that the user can start creating a bot and then after that if you want to set some granular level uh, security roles now, there is an another PPAC settings named as Publish Copilot with AI features. So if you turn this on, what it says is like it will allow Copilot authors to publish from Copilot Studio when AI features are enabled. Now, we have an option to even turn this on. So if this turn, uh, if turn this off, if we turn this off, then the Copilot authors will not be able to publish Copilot features, uh, Copilot or an agent when the AI features are enabled. So uh, so this is also a nice bit of uh, governing functionality for the administrators. Now I'll show you all these things uh, in the actual demo. So I'm in Power Platform Admin Center. Now here, if you navigate to say the Manage tab. Now from here, we have something called as a tenant settings. Now, once you are in the tenant settings, you will be able to see a whole bunch of tenant settings. But the one which I'm interested in is Copilot Studio authors. Now here, if you see, uh, you need to specify a security group that we use Copilot Studio. Now I have set to all companies. So that means all the users belonging to my company will be able to author a Copilot uh, within the organization using Copilot Studio. But 
I have an option to restrict it to a specific uh, M365 group. Say if I just give people to Girish team site, then only people belonging to the Girish team site will be able to use that or author copilot. Or maybe I can put it none so that no one can access the uh, copilot studio interface and they will not be able to create any agents. Now, how to create a security group? So let me cancel this out. Now let me go into Microsoft 365 Admin Center. From here, under Teams and Group, I'll go into Active Teams and Group. And here you have an option to create a security group. So navigate to the security group. I have one security group over here. Let me create a new security group. And this time I will say, uh, say Girish INC Copilot Champs. So if I create the security group within my organization, I will say this security group will contain users who can provision agents within my organization within our organization. So you create the security group and then within that security group you just need to specify like if you want to use azure ad roles to be assigned to this group yes you can turn this on and you click on create group so this is a simple group creation process close and then once the group is created girish inc copilot champs navigate to that specific group and you need to start adding the members okay so now as you see the zero owner and zero member now, before we even add the member, let's navigate to Power Platform Admin Center over here. And then now go to Copilot Studio Authors Preview. And now configure that group. So edit security group. And then let me search for that group. So I'll say Girish INC Copilot Champs. Now, you can see there is some warning symbol. Now, this warning symbol indicates that because you're not a member of this group you won't have access so but obvious we have created a security group no one is in the security group or maybe i'm not in that security group it will show you that warning so even if you select this it is just warning you that it doesn't mean that you will get, be granted an access to this so that's a nice bit of indicator so let's go into this group and let me uh, add myself as maybe either as a manager or like an owner or a member so add member and I'll add myself. And let me add as an owner someone else. So maybe I will add Alex so that I will grant Alex uh, rights to basically. So you go to members and here we all and manage owners, add owners, type in Alex's name and I'll select Alex. So in this security group, I have Alex as an owner, Girish as a member. And I want only these two people within my organization to actually author the copilot or then agent using copilot studio. Navigate to Power Platform Admin Center. Now let's go back. Let's come here again. Copilot Studio authors. Select the security group over here. And now, as you see, that icon has disappeared because it has identified that Girish is part of this group. And selecting Girish, uh, selecting this particular security group. Uh, will ensure that the person who is part of that security group or the person who is logged in will get access rights to author copilot and then i'll click on save and this is how you basically uh, use copilot studio authors now if you want to read more information you can always navigate to learn more and then there is a learn document which explains about the authoring process for copilot studio now there are other options uh, within the copilots uh, which is enabled at a tenant level. So publish copilot with AI feature. Now, even if you add say 10 copilot author as a part of the security group, you still have a control from a governance perspective to uh, disable the publishing of copilot or an agent. So once it is say enabled, it will allow copilot authors to publish from copilot studio when AI features are enabled. Now, it's sometimes it's a bit of a risky feature because if you have a strong governance policy within an organization, it is always advisable to turn this off and only give access to selected set of individual or maybe you turn the AI publishing feature completely turned off within your tenant. So if you turn this off, then the co-pilot authors will not be able to publish uh, 
from Copilot Studio when AI features are enabled. So this is how you basically can configure at a uh, at a tenant level. So these are the settings which are currently available. So that's it, folks. This is all about Copilot Studio authors, how you put a governance policy from a security perspective, and also how do you restrict the publishing of uh, a specific set of uh, uh, information, like if, if AI features are enabled, then how do you restrict that uh, publishing feature? Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.